Hi everyone, this is a video on how to print 1099s from QuickBooks Online. It's a different process than the QuickBooks desktop. Step one is to go to the Vendor Center and select which vendors are eligible for a 1099. Should you pay them more than $600 in cash or checks, if they were providing a service, you would want them to receive a 1099. So we'll go to Lee Advertising and edit the vendor. And in the lower right hand corner there's a checkbox tax payments for 1099. And here we'll put in Laura Lee's social security number. The reason we're put using her social security number is that this company is filed as a sole proprietor on a 1040 form. If this was an LLC and Laura still filed her tax return on a 1040 form, then we would complete her first and last name. This I would leave blank and I would put her social security number in the lower right hand corner. The IRS does not want the EIN number of the business if it's filed on a 1040 form. If it leaves advertising was a partnership, we would leave the first and last name blank because th these three fields are what will show up on the first line of the 1099. Now let's assume it is filed as a partnership on a form 1065, which is not a form 1040. We would want the first line of the 1099 to be Lee Advertising LLC and down below we would want it to be a tax ID number. We'll hit save. So as you're making payments to vendors for services, consider getting their W-9 form before you give them the check, even if the check is below $600. So at year end, you have all the information you need to prepare the 1099. Step two, go, go back to the Vendor Center, prepare 1099s. And we'll get started with this wizard. We'll click Continue 1099s. If you have not already done so, enter your street address. And click Save enter your tax ID number. Click Next. In the next window is the mapping. These are where you'll tell QuickBooks which chart of accounts contains payments that could possibly be recorded and printed on a 1099. So box one is rents. We will look for accounts with rent in it select rent. If you have other rental payments such as equipment rental, scroll down to the other ac accounts that might have equipment rental and that will show in box one multiple accounts. Box seven is the other box that we use. I just want to point out that box 14 gross proceeds to an attorney that is not where you put payments for services to an attorney. The only thing in box 14 will be amounts paid to an attorney from proceeds of a court action case. Other regular legal fee payments go in box seven. So we'll go ahead and click box seven and we're gonna go down all the chart of accounts and find all accounts that could possibly host a 1099 payment. So accounting is selected. We'll go ahead and select advertising, that's a service. Bookkeeping is a service, repairs is a service, commissions is uh, possibly for outside service um, people making sales. Repairs, if they're repairing something, that's a service. Equipment repairs. Uh, job expenses might uh, contain uh, subcontractor payments, legal and professional fees, maintenance and repairs. Office expense, if you code two office expenses, some outside labor, you would select that. 
I'm scrolling through here and I don't really see any other payments on this chart of accounts, which is a sample company file that might contain 1099 payments. So we're done with our mapping. I'll click Next. The purpose of this window is to give you a second chance to review your vendor list to add new vendors that you may have neglected to check the box Track Payments for 1099. At this point, we can go through our entire list and check a few other service uh, professionals who might require a 1099. Next, we click on the vendor name we just selected to complete the information needed for a 1099, including a tax ID number and address. Tax ID. And Pam as well has another social security number. We now have five vendors with complete tax ID and so we're able to continue to the next window. These are the 1099s that will be printed. QuickBooks is filtering for us vendors who received more than $600 that were paid by check to the vendor. If they were paid by credit card, you should not include that in a 1099. Only checks and cash should be included in a 1099. So in this case, there was only one vendor. It is at this point we want to do one final review of our vendor payments to make sure we did not miss anyone. We will choose the report vendors not marked for 1099. We will look for vendors who should have appeared on our to be printed list because they have been paid an amount greater than $600. I'm looking through this list for amounts greater than $600. For example, Melanie Hall Properties has $900 paid under box one for rents and this is the total and we didn't see her as a 1099 so let's go ahead and, and get that whole properties let's say this is a partnership and we'll mark them eligible for a 1099 and save and close Let's see if there's any others greater than $600. You'll notice the excluded payments. Those are payments made to vendors using a credit card or a debit card. Let's go ahead and go back to the filters and choose vendors that meet the threshold and click apply. And now we have our two 1099s that we need to print. Click on next and we can print and mail the forms or file them electronically. We can preview and print the sample. You know, print that to plain paper and hold that behind your forms. They say, yes, it looks good. View, preview, and print 1099 forms. And at this point, we can final chance to make uh, identify mistakes. And we can go back. We'll close this and we can come back to the beginning and make our changes at this point if there's an address change or we could go back into the vendor center and make our changes. To review, we go to the expense tab, the vendor center, prepare 1099. And of course, this is where you will begin your review of vendors selected for 1099s. Plus, select chart of accounts which contain 1099 payments. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to be notified when we release our next video. You may leave a comment if you have a question or would like to provide additional information. This video has been brought to you by QBalance. QBalance is an independent QuickBooks support company. If you're seeking an expert to help you generate your 1099s or clean up your year-end accounting, call us to learn more about our support options. 
We also sell QuickBooks 1099 forms at a discount, so be sure to check out our prices. Thank you again.